I can't believe this is the first time we've met. I've been covering film for four years. Yeah, I've done. I've shot movies in Texas. I, I mean, what the hell's taking so long? I'm sorry. It, it's it's up. Uh, it's all on me. Um, I love westerns. Uh, I love westerns so much. In fact, my parents used to watch Bonanza all the time. I have Lauren Green's director's chair <laughs> in Holy my living room. Oh wow! That was my That's big story amazing. for you. Um, is so, it like hand tool leather? It's actually, Please tell me it's some like beautiful romantic western looking thing. Well, it's got like primitive like little designs of like uh, like Indian like like it's got like not swords but hieroglyphics like, or something. Yes, like, yes, yeah, like, and nice, it's green. Nice. And it's, oh, good. Well, I guess that. Oh, that's why it's green. There you uh, go. I, it took me to talk to you to figure it out. So I love westerns. Um, this is my favorite movie at TIFF this year. Oh, thank you. Um, and I have been so excited to talk to you. Now it took you almost ten years. Seven years, yeah, eh, it's rounding up, but yeah, seven years or so. Why did you did you want to make this movie so much? Well, you know, we read this book by Patrick Dewitt, and it just it just jumped off the page. It's such a visual story. There's so much pathos, and uh, I don't know. For me, it was a lot of familiar territory with the brother relationship, and also like these ideas of family and what's what's in our blood, and what do we choose to, for ourselves, and what's just destiny, and it's also a really funny, circumstantially, like a lot of the predicaments that these two guys get themselves in are very funny and in a dark way. Uh, it was just a really moving, beautiful book that we thought like, man, like this character is someone that I feel so connected to. Like th this guy's struggles feel like my struggles in some way, you know, even though I'm not a murderer for a living. Uh, this idea that the world sees you as one thing and then you have another, re another reality going on inside you. I think that's a, I think that's a pretty universal feeling for a lot of people in the world that they're going to recognize in the film when they see it. I don't know if you knew this. You may already know this, but Patrick DeWitt actually found, was inspired by a story or a book that he picked up at a yard sale. Yes, I do know that, and I have that same book, actually. <laughs> it's an amazing book. It's about the, it's about the 49ers. It's one of these Time Life books that, uh, you know... They looked at the American West, all different little specific chapters of it, and there's one about the prospectors. There's all these amazing photographs in it, actually. One was this photograph of the San Francisco Bay. You won't believe this, but this is an actual archival photograph. It's a big panorama shot in this book that it looks like a forest without trees or leaves on it, just like hundreds and hundreds of trunks of trees. And then you look close and you're like, those are ship masts. Wow. Those are ships that came to San Francisco and the gold rush was so intense at the time, a captain would come with a crew of guys, they'd stop in San Francisco and he'd just lose his crew. They'd all run off into the mountains to go look for gold and just abandon the ship. Wow. And the Bay of San Francisco to this day has hundreds and hundreds of like shipwrecks on yeah. the bottom of it from the era of, of the gold rush where people are just, they couldn't get off the boats fast enough to try to find gold. I'm going to find that book. When I read that little antidote. That's not thing, hard to find. I'm, I'm going to yeah. find it. What were the challenges? Because you, did you have to create like in a Western town, the, the, sh uh, the shootout scenes in particular, mm -hmm. what were the challenges to, to filming this? The challenges were, you know, was first of all, it was a big international, um, you know, group of countries that put this movie together. There's a French director, a Belgian camera crew, Italian makeup, hair and costume, uh, English and American actors. Then we had a whole Spanish crew when we were shooting in Spain and a Romanian crew. So it was almost like this Tower of Babel, like getting all these different cultures and people and languages to work together. But that's, that's what was happening in 1851 in the American West, too, like this sort of multicultural... Uh, melting pot of people, like all just kind of clashing into each other. Um, yeah, so we're really proud of that, actually, that we were able in this time of a lot of division and sort of strife between countries, we, we built this beautiful thing together. I was just going to point that out. I said, see, it can be done. Uh, next we speak, Ralph Breaks the Internet. I can't wait. Very nice to meet you. Thank you. This is my favorite film at TIFF. I All love right, I it. I want to sit in that Lauren Green chair sometime if, I'm, <laughs> if I ever come to Houston. You know what? I may bring it to our next interview. That would <laughs> be great. Put it on the plane. They're like, what is this? Cool.